what turbulent May we've had this year. It's really wet out in the fields at the moment. We've had over four inches of rain in the last 16 days. Nothing quite like we had in December with the flooding, but it's hindering us a little bit. We've got pumpkins that are due to be going in now. Uh, we're holding them off a little bit until the sunshine comes out, hopefully next week. But we have managed to get our maize maize in behind us. We're building this for our summer events. It's just peeking out of the ground just now. It's growing really well. It loved the rain. It like a bit of sunshine now to really drive it forward but it'll cope just fine I'm sure. Moving on to other things we've got our strawberries that are looking really good we've got sort of small set fruit on them now they should be ready come the end of June and we're also planting our later crops that are going in there as well but all in all it's going pretty well just need the weather to improve. We're back in the shop after the disaster of the floods at Christmas. It wasn't a great time for us, but we tried to use the time wisely. We cleaned the shop, we dried it out, and we did some renovations. We created more space in the deli, more space in the butchery, and tried to bring our old shop into the modern times by giving it a clean, fresh look. The biggest change is the cafe behind me. We had it ready for March last year. The pandemic hit us and we weren't able to get it open. We can't wait for the summer to begin and see more of your friendly faces enjoying our coffee, homemade cakes and lovely foods that we have to offer. We've got the farrier in today to trim all the equine's feet. So we've got the three donkeys, the two ponies, and he comes in every six to eight weeks, a bit more often in the summer when they grow quicker and make sure they're all nice and smooth. There's no rocks stuck in there or anything and check that they're all good. It's been really nice working here. Like I really enjoy it because we're at Hartbury College and we're doing three weeks of work experience and it's like really like nice to get hands on with all the animals. It's pretty easy to be honest because they're very well behaved. It's just sometimes they're a bit stubborn but it's fine as long as you've got food. <laughs> we all look forward to Harry coming. It's great that he comes in and helps us look after the foot care of the animals and so that they're happy and healthy and can see you all when you come to visit. Here we are at the end of the long lockdown and thank goodness we can welcome our guests back to Overbarn for parties and weddings at the end of June. And we've so missed the party atmosphere in the barn but we're finally coming back. We've not been idle during the lockdown, we've had a long period of renovations, we've got a new roof, new cladding, new energy efficiency and the barn is warm as toast even though it's a cold May day. One of the most amazing new features we have is this incredible new glass door. But throughout the renovations we've been very keen to make sure that we keep all the period character features about this amazing 19th century grain barn which everyone fell in love with in the first place. We cannot wait to welcome people back to Over Barn and it really will be quite emotional to see some of our brides who postponed in some cases many times to see the barn full of people having fun with their friends and families. We just cannot wait. Mm -hmm.